how can we give assurance? Well, usually we're going to find some standard standards that we're going to take a look at. Standards usually being created by experts. If we're talking about financial statement audits, standards set by financial reporting framework. So if we're talking about financial statement audits, usually the thing we look at when we're looking at audits, we're looking at some kind of uh, framework, the financial reporting framework to go by. Normally, that's generally accepted accounting principles, GAAP. So normally, in a normal audit, we would say, hey, uh, here's the financial statements. We're gonna dig down on them and see if they are in accordance with the rules, the generally accepted accounting principles. Do they adhere to the generally accepted accounting principles? Now note, if, if we could have other standards though, uh, financial reporting frameworks that we're looking at. So for example, if you're getting a loan from the bank and the, and the bank is willing to accept a cash basis or willing to accept financial statements that in, are in accordance with the tax code, then that might be good enough. We might be saying, okay, now we're reviewing this in relation to the financial reporting framework of the IRS tax code or a cash basis. So uh, how is financial reporting framework used? So a CPA firm performs an audit in order to gather evidence to issue an opinion on whether financial statements follow the financial reporting framework. So when we think about, if we're thinking about GAAP as the financial reporting framework, then of course what we're gonna do is say, okay, how can we prove that the financial statements are in accordance with GAAP? Well, we're gonna go and we're gonna try to gather evidence. We're gonna basically make a case for it. And, and then we're gonna give an opinion as to whether they do conform or they don't conform based on the evidence that we're going to draw. So what type of uh, attest engagements are there? There's going to be examinations, there's reviews, there's agreed upon procedures. These are going to be the most common items. What's an examination? Usually that's an audit, an audit when involving historical financial statements. So when we think about examinations, we're generally thinking the audit and that's the highest assurance uh, CPA can offer. So that's when we think about an audit, that's the highest assurance. Now, note, we're not talking about IRS audits, tax audits, usually. When we take, when we're talking about financial statements, we're talking about uh, the assurance of the CPA, assurance of the financial statements, generally. That's gonna be the context of the audits in this case. So what's in a review then? It's much less in scope of procedure than an examination. So an, an audit's gonna be the highest examination uh, that we 